Hello everyone. This is Vai Manohar Reddy, Assistant Professor, Department of Cyber Security, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. In the previous sessions, uh, we discussed about uh, different DML operations under DDL operations, as well as TCL operations under TDL operations. In this session, we are going to working on a uh, different queries uh, with the help of uh, selection operation, selection operation with the various classes, various group by classes various having classes, various average functions, numerical functions, aggregate functions, everything. So in this session, we are going to discuss about the selection operator with the different classes, with the different classes. So how uh, we will work on that, we will see here. So the selection with MySQL where class. So we already uh, known that uh, selection of any tuples and based on the condition of where class, based on the condition of where class. So look at here, MySQL where class is used with select operation, insert operation, update and delete class to filter the result. We need to filter the result and based on that filtering, we are going to retrieve one particular value. So it specifies a specific position where you have to do the operation where you have to do the operation on which condition you are going to retrieve the result so for this purpose a selection with the where class we have to use the main is a main importance of uh, utilizing this selection with the where clause is what to filter the data to retrieve the data based on the filter conditions based on the filter conditions so see here we can uh, take an example here select star from student 1 the student table contains a different values, but from that select star from student where first name equals to Rajiv, where first name equals to Rajiv. That means it filters the data, it filters the data in the table whose first name equals to Rajiv, that Rajiv details, all the Rajiv details will be displayed, all the Rajiv details will be displayed. So for this purpose, we can use this where class. Main use of the where class with the help of selection is to filter the all data, filter the all data and retrieves the specified data, retrieves the specified data. So that is the MySQL uh, selection with the where class. And we can use und operator or operator and both also we can apply in the queries. So how can we apply here? Look at here select star from student 1 where first name equals to Azim, Azim and age less than 18, age less than 18. That means we can apply two conditions here to filter the data to retrieve the specified data. What I am going to display actually here, I want to display all the details of the students whose first name equals to Rajiv and it should be the age less than 18. So age should be less than 18 as well as the first name should be the Raju. On this condition, on this condition, I want to display all the values of the student table. All the values of the student table. So for this purpose, you can use this und operator. We can apply this und or not as a logical operators to filter the data with the help of where class and display the specified result, display the specified result. Now look at here R condition, same like AND operator, we can use OR operator, but for the AND, the result is what this one and this one. So both AND, you can utilize that one and the result is displayed. But for the OR, either this one or this one, either this one or this one. So see here select star from student 1 where first name equals to Rajiv or last name equals to Kapoor. So either first name should be Rajiv or last name should be Kapoor that all the details of the student table will be displayed. All the details, all the student details will be displayed where first name equals to Rajiv or last name equals to Kapoor. On these two condition basis, all the values from the student table is going to be displayed, right? And uh, we can use the combination of both and and or, both combination of and comma or. 
So how can we write uh, select a star from student one where first name equals to Rajiv and last name equals to Kapoor or either age less than 15 or age less than 15. So we have to display the values of student table on these two conditions. One is first name equals to Rajiv and last name equals to Kapoor. This is the first condition and the second condition is what age less than 15. Age should be less than 15. This is the second condition. So if you are mentioned these two condition in between that we have to use on operators. So these all operators logical operators. So either and, either or, either both you can use and or or both operators you can use. So this is about selection with the and operator, selection with the or operator and selection with the and comma or operators. So we can use this all the operators to filter the data and specify the result of the data. And next one is what MySQL distinct class. So MySQL a distinct clause. So distinct clause A is used to remove duplicate records from the table and fetch only the unique records and fetch only the unique records. If we are having, if the table contains duplicate values, table contains duplicate values. So all the duplicate values, instead of all the duplicate values, it displays only one unique value. It displays only one unique value. So for that we can use this distinct class. So what is the syntax? Select distinct expressions. Expressions are nothing but you can uh, take it as a, uh, uh, take it as the attributes or column names and from tables on the condition on conditions. So we can specify like this select distinct address from officers. Address is the attribute name. Address is the attribute name. So I want to display address as a unique from which table from officers table from officers table. I am going to display address as a unique attribute name as a unique attribute name. There is no other duplicates even though it is having another duplicate values like suppose address is uh, address is nothing but like Dundigal. Suppose you can mention Dundigal, Dundigal, Dundigal. So that is having one or two or three. If you are having more than one tuples as the name Dundigal, it displays only one unique value. Only one unique value. Right. Similarly, you can apply distinct for multiple operators also. Multiple at expressions also. Multiple attributes also. So officer name comma attributes if you are specifying officer name comma attributes those two if, if it is having those two are duplicates it displays only the distinct value distinct value of this officer name and address from this table from the officers table from the officers table so this is this is the a purpose of distinct class to remove the duplicates or to display the unique values in instead of displaying all the duplicates instead of displaying all the duplicates right the next one is mysql order by class order by class so mysql order by class is used to sort the records in an ascending order or descending order so the table contains all the records but those records may not be in sorted order may be in sorted order but if you are specifying that sorted type then it will be displayed in the sorting order it will be displaying in the sorting order so we can see how it works so the syntax is what a select expressions so that is nothing but uh, attributes names from table on table and where condition where condition order by class you have to specify and uh, which attribute you want to display in the order type which play in the order type so this is all the syntax so now without using ascending or descending attribute without using ascending or descending so how it displays select a star from student one where last name equals to sing order by age order by age so if you are specifying this order by age it displays all the values based on the order of age based on the order of age suppose age having 30 
32 28 31 like that it is based on age it will displays so like 28 31 or uh, 28 30 31 32 so based on the order age of so based on the order age of it will display all the values it will display all the values but if you are specifying ascending or descending that means it takes it takes ascending order to display all the values that means it takes ascending order to display all the values so we'll see how it works so mysql order by with ascending attribute with ascending attributes so select star from student one where last name equals to sing order by first name equals to first name is in ascending order first name is in ascending order this is nothing but order type this is nothing but order type i am specifying first name in uh, ascending order first name in ascending order so the first name in ascending order and uh, last name is sing so it will display all the values it displays all the values similarly descending order similarly descending order so we'll see select star from officers officers are the table name and where address equals to lucknow order by officer name descending order officer names are descending order it is displaying all the officer names are descending order and where the address equals to lucknow where the address equals to lucknow it displays all the values it displays all the values from this officers table officers table right so this is the way you can mention that uh, ascending order or descending order that means order type you have to mention so before mentioning that order type you have to specify that uh, order by class also you have to specify that order by class also right and next we can use both ascending and descending attributes simultaneously at the same time so how it works select first name comma age i want to display what only the first name comma age from student table where age greater than 15 it should be the age greater than 15 order by last name is descending order and first name should be in ascending order so on it, it should be satisfy this condition and it, it should be display only first name comma age and in that the last name should be in descending order and the first name should be in ascending order last name should be in descending order and the first name should be in ascending order so this is the way you can apply both ascending as well as descending orders both ascending and descending orders those two are specifying that order type only order type only and next one mysql group by clauses group by clauses so group by class is used to collect data from multiple records that means all the tuples are grouped together all the tuples are grouped together and displays a single value all the tuples are grouped together on condition based and it displays the values so uh, look at here so group by class is used to collect data from multiple records and group the result by one or more column it is generally used in select statement so it uh, the, all the multiple records and the group the result by one or more columns it takes all the columns all the tuples as a group all the tuples as a group so that it uh, executes the select query so we can also having some aggregate functions like count sum minimum maximum average on the group columns also so if you want to perform this count to some operations all you have to mention it in the group by class group by class only so look at the syntax here select these are all the column names or expressions you can say that from table name where condition group by the column names which you are grouping column names which you are grouping right so look at here the first one is what mysql group by class with count function so count function select first name comma count of star from student one group by last name group by last name so that means it displays all the first names count it displays all the first names count group by last name it displays all the first name count with the group by last name so whoever it having loose last name that will be grouped together 
on the grouping basis it displays the count of first name displays the count of first names so this is the way you can mention this count operator count aggregate function also so look at here select first name comma sum of age sum of age as a total age so the total age is another alias another alias attribute another alias attribute it displays the sum of age value it displays the sum of age value 32 or 62 or whatever it may be sum of age of the columns value right from student one table group by first name group by first name so it is taking to group all the first names and taking sum of all the ages and it displays the sum of age of the first name sum of age of the first name it displays the value it displays the value the next one is what mysql group by class with a sum function with a sum function so it displays the sum of sum of all the values sum of all the attribute values so look at here select employee name comma sum of working hours as total working hours from employees table group by employee name so whoever having the employee names the all the employee names all the employee names will be displayed based on the sum of all the working hours as a total working hours so it, dis, it takes the total working hours as a another attribute total working hours as a another attribute and it displays the sum of sum of all the employees working hours it displays all the sum of employees working hours so let us take example select first name comma sum of age as total age from student one group by first name so here the all the students age is grouped together and it display the sum value it display the sum value next one is what mysql group by class with minimum function so it displays the minimum working hours of the first employee minimum working hours of the employee that means it displays the result as a minimum value of all the records from the table of all the records from the table and next one is what a maximum function maximum function so it displays the maximum value of all the records from the table of all the records from the table so minimum is taking all the minimum values from the record and maximum value is taking all the maximum values from the records so by by grouping itself only by grouping itself and next one is what group by class with average function group by class with average function so select employee name so i want to display what employee names whose average working hours is has working hours is what so from employees group by employee name so it will be taking average working hours that means average how can we find average total hours total hours work together and uh, divided by total number of hours total working hours divided by total number of hours so that is nothing but average you will calculate so based on that average you will get the uh, employee names you will get the display you will get the employee names to display here and next one is what mysql having class mysql having class so it is also used with group by class it is also used with group by class it always returns the rows where condition is true so it displays all the values based on the conditions true or false if it is having then it displays true if it is not having it displays false so that means if the condition is to be true then it displays the troubles it displays the records if the condition is false it doesn't displays the records so syntax is like what same as like group by select attributes names from tables where condition group by the columns you want to group by itself and having the condition having the condition so now uh, look at the example here select employee name so i want to display what employee name comma sum of all the working hours sum of all the working hours in the separate total working hours column in the separate total working hours column and uh, employee name also displays these two uh, you are going to display from what table employees table group by employee names so you have to group by employee names 
having some of working hours greater than 5 whoever having some of working hours is greater than 5 that all the employee names will be displayed along with the sum of working hours sum of working hours also sum of working hours also it is displayed it is displays so look at here the select first name comma sum of age as total age so the total age it will displays like this first name comma total age total age from student 1 group by first name having sum of age greater than 30 uh, sum of age greater than 20 so the sum of age should be greater than 20 on this condition on this condition the first name is group put group put together group by together and displays the first name comma total total age total age as a sum of age total age as a sum of age values right so this is the way we can use the having class group by class under order by class having class group by class under order by class so only the thing is what we have to mention here the result is displayed based on the filter basis based on the filter basis so that's why you can say that these are all the filter operations also these are all the filter operations also and the next one is what division operators so division operators we can instead of division operators we can use some like conditions some using underscore conditions not like conditions in conditions not in condition so we'll see how all these conditions will work so the first one is what mysql like conditions so we can represent the symbol with the help of percentile symbol to represent it is a like condition it is a like condition so select officer name from officer that means i am going to display only the officer names i want to display only officer names from which table from officers table from which table from officer tables where address like address like l u c k percentile or else you can specify like l percentile also address like address like l u c k percentile or you can say that simply l percentile also that means whoever the address contains starting letter l that all the address officer names will be displayed that all the uh, cities of l officer names will be displayed officer names will be displayed so look at here select first name from student one where last name like s percentile last name like s percentile that means whoever having the last name starting with s letter those details those first name details i want to display those first name details i want to display right and the second one is what using underscore wild card using underscore wild card so that means you can specify that underscore you can having any of the variable any of the letter so all that letters will be displayed based on the underscore values that means yes suppose sometimes it is having s a n g h sometimes it is having s i n g h sometimes it is having s g n g h so if mention we mention that s underscore n g h it displays all these three values it displays all these three values or else you can specify like underscore s also underscore s also that means it displays whoever starting with a letter or uh, like b letter or something it displays all the values it displays all the values so this is the way you can understand this underscore operator as well as like operator so for the like we can specify that personal percentile and for this underscore you can apply this underscore operator like this and next one is what using not operator or not like operator also so you can also use not operator with my sql like condition so this example shows the use of percentile while called with the not operator you can specify both not operator as well as like operator so so where address not like l u c k that means if you are having l percentile also so not like l percentile means whoever is having the address is not l will be displays whoever address is having not l will be displays so the address having uh, address 
he started with L will not be displayed. Whoever address is not starting with the L will be displays. Will be displays. So this is the way you can understand this not like uh, operator, not like division operator or comparison operator. You can take any of them. And the next one is what my SQL in condition. My SQL in condition. So that in condition is used to reduce the use of multiple R conditions in select, insert, update, delete statements. So that means this this four R DML statement, the data manipulation statements. And is this in condition is used to reduce the reduce the use of multiple R conditions to specifying multiple R conditions instead of writing a multiple R conditions we can write only in condition only one in condition so look at here select star from officers where officer name in of in of generally we can write like what First, uh, where officer name Ajit or Vimal or Deepika. But instead of writing all multiple or operators, we can specify in operator only. Only one in operator we specified here. So example, select star from student where first name in Ajit. First name in Ajit. Whoever having the names, in that names, first name Ajit is going to be display. First name Ajit is going to be display, right? And the next one is what my SQL any condition, my SQL any condition. So any is a keyword, is a my SQL operator that returns the boolean value true or false. It returns boolean value true or false. So suppose if you are specifying any of 2025, yes, it is displays. It displays. It is having. It displays true. If it is not having, it displays false. So look at here, true if the comparison is true for any of the subquery condition. In other words, this keyword returns true if any of the subquery condition is fulfilled when the SQL query is executed. So then any keyword must follow the comparison operator. So we can specify like this, select column 1 from table 1 where column 1 greater than any of, any of select column 1 from table 2. In have select column from from table 2. So we can specify select ID from T1 where ID greater than any of select ID from 2. So select ID from 2 means it displays IDs. It displays IDs like 101, 102, 103. Suppose if it displays for these three. So select ID from T1 where ID ID greater than ID greater than any of. So that means the table 1 having IDs 102, 103, 104, these three are the table IDs, these three are the student IDs from table 1 and these three are the two, table 2 IDs. But what I am saying here, so ID greater than these two table, these two table. So whichever the values are having greater than this table 1 will be automatically displays, will be automatically displays, right. So the next example, next example, select first name from student one where age greater than any of 20 comma 25. Where age greater than any of 20 comma 25. So the whoever the having the age any of 20 or 25. So it should be the 20 or it should be the 25. So those names will be displayed. Those names will be displayed. And the next one is what MySQL exists or not exist. Exist or not exist. So the exist operator in MySQL is a type of boolean operator which returns the true or false. Which returns the true or false. So it is also like a boolean operator. So it takes the statements and if the query is valued and the result is valid, so then it displays true or else false. It displays false. So the syntax is what? Select column names from table name as usual where condition not exist or exist you can specify any of the things not exist or exist you can specify any of the thing select column names so column names which column names you want to specifying from table name on where condition on where condition so this is the way you can write the syntax and you can understand the syntax so select id marks from table 1 
where exists of so this is nothing but you can say that it is a inner query also this is a inner query also so first of all it is executing this inner query select star from t2 where t1 dot id equals to t2 dot id so that means whoever having the team table 1 id is equals to table 2 id so those employee details will display so all the employee details will display and the next one is what id comma marks from table 1 where exists of this one where exists of this one so the next example is what select id comma marks from table 1 where not exists not exists of select star from t table 2 where t1 dot id equals to t2 dot id so taking the two conditions on these two conditions table 1 condition table 2 condition if these two condition if this condition is true then it displays the value based on this condition if it is not true then it stops to the execution of inner query and it displays the only outer query values it displays the only outer queries values and next one mysql not condition mysql not a condition so it is opposite of mysql in condition so it is used to negate the condition in a select insert update under delete statements so wherever you are having in condition so it is quietly opposite to not not condition so mysql not operator within in condition so select star from officers where officer name not in ajit vimal deepika so these are the this is we are using for multiple or operators and here not in of ajit or vimal or deepika so that means i am going to display all the values of officers all the values of officers whose name is not this whose name is not this so remaining all the values will be displayed so select star from student 1 where first name not in of abhijit kumar sukumar so these two values will not be displayed and other than these two values will be displayed right so that is about mysql not operator with in condition the next one is what mysql not operator with is null condition is null condition or is not null condition is null condition or is not null condition so select star from officers where officer name is not null where officer name is not null so that means officer name whoever having the officer name is not null those all the values will be displayed those all the values will be displayed some of the officer names will be null because they are not entering the na names because they are not entering their names so at the time it will display based on this condition not null condition right not null condition it is going to display all the values so select star from student 1 where age is not null where age is not null that means everyone should having some age right every query should having some age so based on that queries only it displays all the null or null in not in null values not null values and the next one is what mysql not operator with like condition with the like condition so same as as we seen in the last slide right on the between operator not be operator with between operator so select star from officers where officer id not between 3 and 5 not between 3 and 5 or between 3 and 5 you can use if you are specifying between 3 and 5 it displays all the values between 3 and 5 but if you are specifying not between 3 and 5 it displays other than this between 3 and 5 so it is having maybe 4 or 2 or say 8 or 7 or 6 or it displays all these values so not between means the values are not instead of these two values not instead of these two values so this is all about not operator like operator between operator so these are all uh, comparison operators or division operators we specified so we will see how all the uh, condition all the operators will discuss in this session so see here so first of all we discussed about the selection with where clauses selection with where clause selection with and clause so selection with where clause selection with and clause selection with or clause we are specifying this all the and or and not conditions for displaying the results based on the 
filtering values based on the filtering values so we are specifying and operator or operator and both combining and and or operators right and the next distinct class mysql distinct class we are specifying here and next order by class so how we are going to display the results based on the orders based on the orders or order types right and uh, next one is what having class so whether that values are having uh, whether the table is having that values or not based on that values only we are displaying having class right and the next uh, aggregate functions so maximum function minimum function average sum and the count these are all the aggregate functions or numerical functions or mathematical functions we can say that anything right and next one mysql having clause so that having class displays all the values whether that are uh, having uh, particular values or not whether that particular values are having or not right and next uh, like conditions mysql like conditions are not like and there is nothing but comparison or division operators we can say that right so mysql like condition and like not like conditions are comparison operators are divisional operators underscore also and similarly mysql in condition and not in condition mysql any condition and mysql exist condition or not exist conditions mysql not condition or not null conditions and not operator or not like operators and between operator not between operators so these are all the comparisons operators or division operators we can see that right so this is the way you can understand all the operators with the selection clause operators with selection clause are selection with where clauses selection with where clauses so this is all about this operators in the selection where clause selection where clause so thank you all like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates